Andrew Wilkinson got interested in food early on. A native of Maine, he grew up on the lobster docks. After attending the CIA, he worked in Germany, New York, Boston, and Japan before coming to the Rainbow Room. Since this taping, he has returned to Boston. Here is a rainbow signature, shellfish extravaganza. Uh, shellfish extravaganza, the name, has a multi-dish uh, starting with a lot of ingredients that are on this table. And I'm going to start making a scallop ceviche that needs to marinate first uh, for about 15 minutes, a half an hour, in order to finish the dish. First, I'm going to start off with sea scallops. And the dish will include these ingredients, and uh, that's it. What we want to do is chop these scallops up a nice fine dice. This is a quick marination dish. You don't want to marinate it too long. The marinade begins with fresh lime and orange juice. And the acid from the limes and the oranges will slightly cook the scallop so it's not, so it's actually a more pleasing texture. So it's not really a, a raw fish item. What's going to happen here is you're going to see that the scallops are going to start to turn white just as they would when they start to cook. The peppers, which is a fine dice, okay, are added. This is a Spanish dish by origin. And now, like I said, we want to have fresher flavors. But when this dish originated, it was for preservation um, using the acid. Coarse chopped avocado. This is going to be a rough chop also, or a dice if you can get it. If the avocados mash on you a little bit, that's okay. This is just going to add another different texture to the dish. Chopped cilantro is added. But we incorporate in this shellfish extravaganza as many types of shellfish as we can get. And it will change throughout the year also, depending upon the seasons and what's available. black pepper, salt, Tabasco. While the scallops marinate, oysters and clams are shucked. Will be the oysters. Here at Rainbow Room, we don't use one type of oyster. We use three types of oysters. We have blue points. Blue points from, from New York. We have Malpex from New England and Canada, and we've got the Pemaquids from Maine. These oysters all have different uh, briny textures, different tastes, so we like to mix them up and show the customers and make sure we point out the, uh, that there's more than just one type of oyster. They all taste different depending upon the waters that they're from. Opening oysters, it's important that you cool the oysters down. In some slushy, slushy ice water, just before, so you relax the oysters. Next will be little neck clams.
These are very easy to open. Again, what you want to do is put them in some slushy ice water to start. Then mussels. The mussels have been steamed and mixed with a remoulade, a chive remoulade sauce, and just marinated. And these don't take too long to marinate. Uh, after you steam them in white wine, mix it with the remoulade sauce and the chopped chives, and they'll go back into the shells as a garnish for the extravaganza. Part of the dish will also be the shrimp, which have been poached. A three-tiered presentation starts with oysters set on crushed ice and seaweed. Oysters right around the perimeter, the little neck clams. Little garnish on top. We're using jumbo shrimp here. Jumbo pertaining to the size, which are U15s. If you ever hear that term, U15, pertains to how many pieces per pound. So this is under 15 shrimp per pound. The lump crab meat goes into a radicchio cup. Lump crabs from Maryland. We use this because it's easy and we want people to have fun. One of the reasons come to Rainbow is to have fun. So you can use your fingers in Rainbow to pick up a beautiful piece of lump crab. Next will be the marinated mussels. Save the shells, they make a great container. When we created this dish, we opened in 1934. And through the years, Rainbow has been set up with a great archives system of all the menus from the start. And for me, working as a chef in the Rainbow Room in such a historic place, and the owner, Joe Baum, who runs this place, we wanted to recreate what we did in 1934. The scallops of each will be ready now. You can see it did turn an opaque, whitish color. Lobster tail medallions and claw meat finish the extravaganza. These will be chilled, cut into the medallions. and your shellfish extravaganza.